Hey guys, it's Icy Near. We're back here with the Splunky Daily. We're doing the daily for 8 16 um, 2013. And yesterday, the 15th, I came in at 866, so still sub 1000. So I'm still pretty happy with that. Uh, overall, looks like Aesil won with over a million. He must have been ghosting. And in my friends list, uh, I came in at first. Astronit uh, second there. Six. Six just six and uh, Shinxi just got the game. I think yesterday, so that's pretty impressive. Naffin, where'd you where'd you go, Naffin? Oh, I switched. There we go. Naffin, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That uh looks like Washi and Scar didn't compete yesterday, so shame on them. Okay, so now we are going to jump right into the next daily, uh, where I'm hoping things will turn out better for us. Uh, I may have come in first to my friends list, but Fat Black Boy Scout, go! But I still was not happy at all with my performance. So we're going to jump into it again and hope we can do a little bit better. Okay. Got that spider. And, of course, the phone's going off. One moment. I'll be right back, guys. And we are back. Sorry about that. Oop, that was close. Mistakes were almost made there. Okay, let's just take care of that. And uh, I'm thinking slow and steady wins the race this time. That is kind of going to be my philosophy here. And I feel like we can uh, really make a winner out of ourselves on this one. Okay. The whole thing with Splunky is that it always feels... You know, you're always like, okay, well, if I just take it easy and I calm down, I'll be fine. But it's, it's so much easier said than done. You know? You're always gonna... I mean, you're always like, okay, I just need to slow down. We'll be fine. And then you just make mistakes. Just mistake after mistake. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I don't want him going that far. Let's go ahead and toss him in here right away. Probably the wrong, right way would be better. There we are. Get in there. Get in there, pup, pup. Like that. Like, not checking to see if that skeleton... I didn't even see that there was a skeleton there, quite honestly. And that could have been a mistake. I didn't uh, check to see if there's a, a spike snake or spider in that pot and just walked right into it. Luckily, I didn't pay for that mistake, but it was a mistake. So we got to calm down, chill out, and throw a rock at this bat. And we're good to go. Uh, do I kind of want to use a rock to get that ruby, but we're not going to. Let's just head on through. So we're doing okay, but that was a quite easy level. Snake pit. There is a chance to get a matic. And I think proper use of the Matic is what's going to separate the boys from the men. Um, there is a crate over here that we'd have to use a rope to get to, so let's go ahead and do that now. Now, here was a mistake. I definitely should have put that rope closer to the middle, so I could have used it both ways, but I didn't, so... Oh, and I'm going to have to use another rope. Okay. We're just going to do that. And hope for the best. We should have brought a rock with us. We didn't. Maybe. Oh, it wasn't enough to actually get the uh, Matic out of the ground. But that's okay. That's fine. Okay. Now we are going to go for this ruby. Because that's a lot of money to leave laying on the table. Oh. Plus, uh, looks like our maid bro is there. Our dams dude. Break through here. Get more bombs, so I'm pretty comfortable in the bomb department. Whip the crap out of our maiden for no reason at all. Oh, I really should have checked to see if I could have gotten back up there. Because I probably wanted to sacrifice that damsel as opposed to um, rescue him. But it's alright. Um, And I'm thinking we'll just grab like, a tiny bit more gold here and we're going to head on out. I'd like to get the Ujedi before I really start using this uh, Matic too much. That way we can focus in on rubies and gems and such not. We are not going to be getting dams on this floor. I'm not going to buy a kiss. Go ahead and grab that. Nice chunk of gold, and it made life real easy for us. Excellent. So that worked out real well. Check this pot. Little nugget of gold. Nothing to snort at. Um, and there is a spitting snake here. Dealt with. Okay. 
I heard an explosive. Uh, no idea what caused it. But it didn't piss off any shopkeep, so we'll just roll with that. And I think I'm going to go down this way. That way I can easily get into here. Grab some more gems. I really wish the Ujet Eye was on this floor. The mines just tend to be a lot easier to, well, mine on when you've got the uh, Matic. Then it, it's just a lot easier to get um, gems on this level, on the mine level, than it is in the jungle. Just less going on. So I'd like to have more time in the mines with the Matic, but I don't think that's in the cards. Because it looks like the Ujet Eye is going to be on the next level. I'm almost positive I haven't missed it, so... That's a good thing. Missing the Ujedi would be really painful for us. All in all, we're doing well. Okay, level three. Ujedi is on this level. Oh, four. Level four. Crap. Thought we had more time than that. We can't get that without pissing off the uh, hermit guy. So we will not be trying. I don't know why I dropped that. But we're going to be getting the maiden... I really wish these weren't all at the top. So we're getting the Maiden. We're getting the... Uh... Come on, get up there. There we go. Chest. And we are dealing with the Matic. So it's a lot of juggling we have to do. The Maiden might end up dying because I'm going to let her pretty much do her own thing. And just toss her over gaps when I need to. But hey, we'll deal with it. Grab a little more gold there. Okay, let's see what's down here. Maiden is somewhere. Let's go to explore this next part. Maiden is stuck in a spider web. Perfect. No complaints there. Nice chunk of gold there. Definitely worth uh, maticking for. We're going to matic our way over here, which is apparently maticing is a verb now. And see if the key is down below. Maybe. Go down through here. And we're going to matic our way over. Ooh, we might have made an error there. We might have to use the rope uh, yeah, rope to get back up. That's fine. We'll deal with it. Yeah, we're going to have to use a rope to get back up out of here. Because we can't break through the shop. Oh, wait, no. Can we... Nah, we, we're going to have to use our last rope. That's... That's painful. And I'm really, really, really hoping the key is down here. Come on, key. Don't screw me now. Okay, thank God. It is. Grab the damsel. We actually are running out of time. Let's uh, speed things up a little. Whip him in the face. Nothing there appeals to me. I have eight bombs, so I really don't need the bomb box. Like, I wouldn't mind the bomb box. Given the chance, I wouldn't say no to it. Actually, that's probably going to piss off the shopkeep. We're not going to go for it. And uh, we're going to head on out. Might as well grab that. Cool. Terrible chill runs up my spine as I leave. Oh, yeah. And we're on to the jungle. And, of course, it's a dark level, which is both a great and terrible thing. We have already found the black market. So we're just going to break that open. And then we're probably going to spend some time really just uh, grabbing some money. We're going to leave our Matic there. Because I don't want to lose the Matic if I... I want to bring the Matic with me to the black market if I can. Oh my god, that was epically dumb. Just had some lag. Okay, we're good. We have no ropes. So I really don't want to go down. Let's actually just go ahead. Call this level a loss. We're not going to be buying the Ankh. Because as I said, I'm not comfortable enough right now um, to feel that I can get the um, get to the City of Gold. Like, consistently. Ooh, cool. Extra crate with a... Oh, of course, it's a parachute. Uh, nothing really of value up here. Let's take the... Ma Ooh. Let's take that gem. That bit of gold. And, uh, our Matic broke. Okay. So that timing. We might as well take the stick with us. 
that is the entrance. There's the black market entrance. Okay. I'm not comfortable enough consistently getting to the City of Gold to risk 50000 on it. But, I mean, if we can find a jetpack, I'd buy that. Um, there we are. So, we'll just see what's here, and we'll make decisions on what we're going to buy. But first things first, is just check. Climbing gloves. I kind of want those. We're going to see if there's a jetpack first. So, I don't want to screw myself out of a purchase like a jetpack. Um, no luck on the jetpack. Crap. Okay, so we are going to grab the climbing gloves. And maybe some extra bombs. Uh, and actually, we're going to get some ropes as well. I kind of want um, the compass for the ice caves, but I think I'm going to hold off on it. <sighs> no more bombs, really? Okay, so we'll just grab this bomb bag up here, I guess. And you know what? To make myself feel slightly more comfortable, buy one kiss. Okay, so that's all our shopping done. Let's just go ahead and check the level for any easy gold laying around. Um, that I don't consider easy gold. That's just ridiculously close to that tiki trap, and I know it's going to end up getting me killed. So we're not doing that. This tiki trap I don't want to deal with, so we're blowing it up. Of course, it only blew up part of it. That's my luck. Go ahead and jump down here. Tiki traps just everywhere. This is... Ridiculous. That is one of those don't want to risk it tiki trap blow ups. And then uh, here we're going to see if uh, I can manage to make it across spikes, my arch nemesis. Nope, monkey. Okay, the monkey took some gold. Ain't no thing. Let's just jump in his. Why don't you just get yourself screwed on that tiki trap? Okay, we're fine. Let's go ahead and leave. Cool, we're out. We made it. We made it without. We made it across the spike pit without falling. I am so happy. So happy. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting as much gold as we can. Um, I'm not gonna make the mistake of going to the mothership level if it's offered. Uh, I've made that mistake in a daily challenge before. I was just like, after all was said and done, I just could not understand why I had chosen to do that. Oh, yeah, we have spike shoes. Cool. More bombs. Never a dull moment when you've got enough bombs. Or it never has to be a dull moment, at least. G getting bored? Throw some bombs. Okay, so we got ourselves a maiden. Um, and quite simply, I find the maiden right now to be far more important than... Uh... Oh, we should be able to get that easily. Let's just take a peek. Figure out where the exit is. There we go. And we should be able to probably get the boomerang as well. But we're going to get the... Whoop, 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 whoop. Idle here first. Grab that. Grab the extra gold. See, idle is a nice chunk of money. Which will help push us up on those leaderboards. An extra 10000 That basically pay paid for our black market trip. Ooh, and we can't get back up for the uh, boomerang, but eh, in the jungle, I can probably pick up another boomerang. It's not too big a deal. Let's head on out. I would be really happy right now for a dead or um, restless level. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to play out for me, though. Just because free shotgun, um, at least the free crown. Go ahead and kill that guy. He's going to drop us some gems. And spring shoes. So that's nice. That rare drop from him. Okay, there we go. We're going to go ahead and pop another bomb there. Well, that wasn't actually where we wanted to pop it, but hey. Go ahead and boomerang him to death. That'll be fine. Oh, of course. Oh, I keep completely forgot I have spike shoes. I can just jump on his head till he dies. Okay, there we go. Much better. Let's take a peek over here real quick. Almost dropped right on that. Okay. Uh, this is the exit, so we'll come back to this here in a bit. Uh, I just want to take a peek over here. I feel like if we go down here, we are going to have to bomb our way out. But we have enough bombs to make that happen. 
We do have some ropes too, which I completely forgot I had. So we're going to bomb here for the maiden. I keep calling her a maiden. She's definitely a damsel in lore, but I keep calling her a maiden. Not really sure where that's coming from. Okay, we took some damage there that was real dumb. But it's okay. We'll, we'll make it up to ourselves. With this uh, damsel here. Grab that. Got an extra set of spike shoes. Oh yeah. Double spikes, which does nothing for those wondering. And we are going to spike shoot this guy in the head. Throw his body over there irreverently. And take his boomerang. And we are on to the ice caves. Oh yeah. I'm starting to think the pro strat here would probably be to not go to um, the black market. Seeing as how you're trading a lot of um, money that could be on a floor. And we're just going to jump and kill all of these because they're all worth gems. Oh, and uh, we get to get spike shoes again. And um, a compass, which is nice. I'm really glad I didn't buy that compass. Because basically you're trading the opportunity to make gold on a level for a level that doesn't have gold. Or has very little gold. And I really shouldn't be going with the freeze ray, but I'm going to. Um, I mean, if I get the Kapala, there's a chance of getting more blood with it. Uh, it has lower range, but at least it's going to be very, you know, consistent in coming back to me. Which is a bit of a bonus. Okay, so... He's dead. We can still at least sacrifice his body. If we happen to get lucky and get another altar, we'll get something. Or we might be able to get something. But yeah, I messed up with that um, proximity mine. Okay, so let's move on. Got some more money. I'd love to have a cape or even better, a jetpack at this point. You can get so much money on the ice caves if you have a jetpack. But without it, it's... I mean, I at least have the climbing gloves, so it gives me a good bit of mo mobility. But it's nothing like um, being able to freely fly around these levels. Hell, if I had the jetpack, I'd be doing some ghosting. Okay, so you can't freeze that guy. I wasn't sure. Figured it was worth a shot. We are going to stomp on him till he dies, though. Get his gem. Okay, take care of that. Couple more gems here. We're doing good. We're over 100,000. That's a... Uh pretty big marker for me. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Okay, now we gotta be careful with this. This could go incredibly bad. Okay, so that was the... Okay, we're okay. Go ahead and break him apart for no real reason. And this I just want to do because it's funny, because I've died this way many a time. There we are. So it is down this way. Um, okay, cool. We're good to go. Let's head out. No maiden on that level, but I'm not going to complain. We'll just roll with it. I don't have paste, so dealing with um, Anubis is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, open that up. Kill that man. I haven't pissed off shopkeepers, which is nice. And part of me wants to buy more bombs to deal with thwomps and stuff, but I know it's going to be a huge... Oh, paste. We'll buy paste, and we will go ahead and buy a bomb bag. That's a huge investment. I really need to make this work for me. Okay, so that was really close. Go ahead and drop him here. Throw that down there. Okay. This is where the pace can really start paying off for me. Got more bombs. Come on, can I get both gems with that? I did. Excellent. We really don't want to set that off until we're past it. There we are. A little bit more gold there, and we're going to go ahead and call that a level. We're under 100,000 again, but we did make it to the temple. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. One more ice caves level. Man, I keep tricking myself. Ooh. And the mothership is available. I'm not going. It's just... I think at this point, it's really just a fool's errand to go to the mothership. Um, it didn't seem terribly laden with gold. 
which makes it really just not worth it. And, um, it's very hard, especially compared to, like, you know, just another... Or just... Well, I don't even know. Like, I thought this was my last, um, Ice Caves level. I could be wrong, I guess. I could have sworn this is the last Ice Caves level, though. Okay, well, we'll find out here in a moment. Let's head on out. Yeah, this is the temple. So I guess the mothership takes the place of a temple level. Can I freeze him? I can. With the sticky bombs. Ooh, almost hit one. Okay, here we go. We're just going to go through this very carefully. I'd like to kill Anubis purely for the money. Not so much worried about his staff. Because I feel like I will probably get myself killed with his staff. We took a hit there, so we're going to buy one kiss. For 14,000. Okay, that was real close. Um, There we go. But, I mean, basically, my whole theory on Anubis right now is if I can kill him reasonably easily... Nope, we're just leaving. No theory on Anubis. We're just saying, screw you, Anubis, we're out. Okay, moving on, moving on. I got super excited there. I thought I could kill the mummy by freezing and jumping on him, which would have been pretty phenomenal. But it seems we can't. Okay, kill that. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and take him out. We are not going to go for that idol. I, I really need to keep hang on to this uh, freeze ray. I really wish I could have gotten City of Gold. But that wasn't in the cards for us. Okay. I think I can take him out by jumping on him. I don't think I need to waste another bomb. There we are. That's some MLG Pro stuff right there. Kill that guy. The Freeze Ray is being a bro right now, I have to say. I've never used the Freeze Ray quite so effectively as I have today. Go ahead and blow that up. Because there is a, cornico a veritable cornucopia of crates in here. Along with um, various gems and such not. So I will definitely use a couple bombs, especially because it netted us a few bombs. So no complaints here. Uh, other than the fact that that just hurt me. That was a slight complaint, but it's okay. And I killed myself by blowing an arrow onto me. That was dumb. But um, other than that, I'm super pleased with that run. Um, 127,425. I think that's an all-time high for me personally. The one thing I do want to look on the leaderboards is daily all-time, uh, daily all-time. I average my top 10 daily scores. I did want to point out that I'm on the top there of my friends list. 470th in the world, which, uh, not too shabby for my, uh, average of top 10. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll look at how I did today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.